For the United States, the botched up withdrawal from Afghanistan continues to get more and more embarrassing. The last thing it wanted was the Taliban brandishing its weapons. But it's now clear that $83 billion US spent on the Afghan army ended up benefiting the Taliban. Social media is full of videos of Taliban flaunting US supplied guns and even helicopters. On your screens is the visuals of what Taliban claimed to be using the UH. 60 Black Hawks. The location is believed to be the Kandahar airport here. This is not the only video circulating on social media though. In these visuals, Taliban can be seen with vehicles used by the Herat police. Another video from the Herat province shows the Taliban brandishing guns. Most of the weapons have been seized by the Afghan forces who at many places surrendered without a fight. They left behind a massive arms cache at the Kabul airport. Firearms and ammunition were seen lying in a parking lot. And all this is now in the hands of the Taliban. Apart from this, they have been seizing weapons from civilians. The Taliban said that civilians no longer need weapons for personal protection. To understand the scale of this crisis, you will have to know what weapons are likely in the hands of the Taliban. Now, here's a list of the weapons U.S. dispatched to, the, uh, to Afghanistan in recent years. That is 7,000 machine guns, 4,700 Humvees, 20,000 grenades, 200 aircraft. Washington has tried to downplay the threat, saying that the Pentagon had removed huge amounts of its own equipment from Afghanistan. But experts caution that the arms seizure will only embolden the Taliban. According to reports, Taliban is now in control of Hawadzah's and Afghan Air Force assets. So what is the United States planning to do? There are fears that, very, that the very weapons the United States supplied will be used against it and they could also land in hands of other terror groups now. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.